I came in contact with them all through Max Baca. Max and I go way back. We were playing with Flacco and uh, Augie and Doug uh, back in the day. And I was touring with the Texas Tornadoes, you know, toured all over the world with, uh, of course, Doug Somm and uh, Freddie Fender, Augie Myers and Flacco Jimenez. Then uh, he formed the Tex Maniacs. You know, we've always stayed close in touch. We came up the same way, man. We, we both came up around a lot of the great Texas players, and uh, we got a, you know, kind of a mutual admiration society. And that's the thing with uh, myself and uh, Los Tex Maniacs. It's about getting together and, hey, let's, let's collaborate and make beautiful music, man. And uh, that's what we're all about. So uh, unique to Texas is the marriage of different styles. And in this case, with these guys, um, it's a real natural thing. You know, the first time we collaborated together, uh, it just all made sense. You know, the chemistry was, was, was beautiful. No, she didn't think of me that way. She didn't think of me that way. We were awarded a Grammy in 2009. Uh, for Borders y Bailes, and, um, and then shortly after that we recorded another album, Texas Towns and Tex-Mex Sounds, and that got us a Latin Grammy nomination. Then our uh, recent recording titled The Cruzando Borders just got us a, an American Grammy nomination. You know, I was also very honored to receive a Grammy nomination for my Too Many Bad Habits box set. They dig playing the blues. Uh, they dig. They dig original songs. We love to do. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that I've written that we do together. And I kind of grew up musically uh, in the 70s in Texas and, and mainly, but mainly in South Louisiana and a lot in Chicago. You know, I moved around wherever the great music scenes were and, you know, Doug and Freddie and all those cats, I mean, they were tapped into the same stuff that I was digging on and Max was right there, so it was really a natural thing. It's uh, such a blessing to, to be able to collaborate with different musicians like Johnny Nicholas, I consider Johnny Nicholas one of the uh, ambassadors of Texas music, you know, and uh, the blues and the and rock and roll, rockabilly, and uh, anything that he uh, plays, he uh, plays with feeling and heart and soul. And that's what I admire and respect about the Johnny Nicholas.
And so uh, we're real excited about it, man. And when we put all that stuff together, we test different genres, but we take it out there with the Conjunto influence, the blues influence, and the Texas rock and roll thing, um, and the Gulf Coast thing, and we put that all together, and man, it's a, it's a surefire hit.